first of all i think what covid has done is to widen the gap between the haves and the have nots secondly it has created a challenge for the middle class a section of the middle class will be pushed down the economic ladder i think that is something that we need to bear in mind which means that those working with the weakest the migrants and those who will lose their job lose the most may not get the support of that section of the middle class which was normally supporting them in case of uh, need so the organizational part becomes relatively weak that is one aspect of it on the other side you have the weakening of the labor laws and those are two or three things that we need to work on i think that's a challenge to the civil society what we see happening is that migrants are returning home and they may not like to go back and there may be a good bit of unrest but we need to find a way of building a new economy around the returnees one is to take care of the migrants quite another is to say is there a long term solution at home and that is not got by going to the big industry as uh, the government would like us to do they will think of the gdp that gdp has to begin at the rural level and that is the first challenge of the civil society to create a model there will be problems but i think create a model for this uh, migrants a migrant based returnee migrant returnee based economy which is first of all revival of the uh, natural resources more and more of the uh, economy is being built on the exploitation of those resources we need to rebuild those resources now now for example we are entering the season of floods that season has to become the starting point we have floods again and again because the catchment area have areas have been deforested it is time we got together and turned rebuilding the resource base into something new as the main resource base of the economy create jobs there revive another type of agriculture <coughs> three crops a year but not necessarily those big commercial crops but the type of crops that can be processed lo locally and marketed by the local and that has to be that requires a massive organization of the local people which is being done through the self help groups and other methods organize them and then get them to plan the crops together they may grow it individually but let that be planned together and not just not just stopping at growing the crops this that processing and marketing should be in their hands and we need to build a rural agriculture based economy which does not stop at growing crops for which we need the minimum uh, 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 price etc what we need is the type of economy based on these crops that are processed by them so let the educated people come back to the village develop the type of technology that they require type of organization that they require 
for processing and marketing together. And that's a massive challenge. But I think ultimately, that is where we need to make a beginning. We should write about it, think about it, proclaim it, demand it from the state. But at the same time, the challenge has to begin at our level, helping the people to organize themselves into groups that produce the crops, process them, and market them. And that is a real challenge. That is the first point I want to make. The second is that COVID-19 is being used by all the totalitarian regimes, including ours, to increase control over their people. And that is where we need to come together to demand a right, right to freedom of thought, freedom, freedom of organization, freedom to work, and just a just salary, not just uh, not just a slave labor type of wage. More and more small. M- Small industries are being created without registration. That's fine. But the labor laws are being diluted to suit the needs of of big capital. And that is something that we need to resist. And we need to resist the dilution of our freedoms. And that is uh, the second challenge. And the third challenge is to have a long-term perspective. This is something that requires a long-term perspective. And there, we need to come together. It's not one organization that can do it. We need to come together to, in an alliance, which is not easy, because all of us like to, to work by ourselves. And the fourth challenge I see is the combination of ongoing action with ongoing analysis, research, advocacy. Advocacy is a major step that we need to take together. I think these are some of the challenges I can think of for civil society today. But we we can only develop models and demand that the state implements them and that the rural economy has to be the starting point. And also simple, important point, dilution of the uh, labor law is also in dilution of our freedom, dilution of our rights and entitlements. And there is need to work together and uh, we need to find to work. You have said that this is also an opportunity for us, not to the politicians but also to start a new economy and develop a new model. But I would like to bring one day thought, we can take it subsequently, whether this model uh, uh, grow crops at uh, locally, in a group, process them uh, in a group, as an organizations, and also to have control of the market, another thing. Would only be limited to civil society organizations or the new approaches also need to be fine. Thank you very much.